हेलो गाइस दिस इज रेवन फ्रॉम डिजी इंटीग्रिटी वेलकम टू टेक न्यूज एपिसोड 98 जियो 5G फोन कुड बी अनाउंस्ड ऑन जून 24 ड्यूरिंग द रिलायंस एनुअल जनरल मीटिंग 2021 जियो 5G फोन प्राइस इन इंडिया विल रिपोर्टेडली बी अराउंड रुपीस 2500 द जियो गूगल फोन विल रन ऑन कस्टम वर्जन ऑफ एंड्राइड OnePlus Note CE 5G latest teaser confirms 64 megapixel primary camera. The phone will feature a pro model and tilt shift photography. OnePlus Note CE 5G India launches on June 10th. OnePlus has released a new Android 12 beta update for OnePlus 9 and OnePlus 9 Pro. This firmware has a fix for an issue that caused Android 12 beta 1 to break devices. OnePlus has listed known issues with the new firmware. Last week Xiaomi released an MIUI build for the unreleased MI11 Lite Indian variant. On the same day one of the company executive also teased this phone on Twitter. Now days later Manu Jain the managing director of Xiaomi India tweet said another teaser. As far as the handset is considered the Xiaomi MI11 Lite is currently one of the thinnest and lightest smartphone in the world. It measures only 6.81 mm in thickness and weighs around 157 grams. Battlegrounds Mobile India will have the UAZ off-road vehicle from PUBG Mobile. UAZ will be available for the Arangal map in the game. Battlegrounds Mobile India launch date is expected to be June 18th. Vivo Y73 could launch in India within a week. As per the leak, the price will be around 20,000 Indian rupees. And some of the key highlight specifications of Vivo Y73 are: it comes with a 7.38 mm ultra slim glass. It also has a 64 megapixel night camera, and it also comes with a 33 watt fast charging support. Earlier this week a landing page of the Honor Band 6 surfaced on India's Flipkart retailer site. It did not reveal the launch date of the fitness tracker but confirmed many of its major features. The product listing of the Honor Band 6 is now available on the retailer while it is not available for purchase as it is listed as out of stock. The listing has revealed its pricing. The Honor Band 6 is listed with a price tag of rupees 5999 on Flipkart. Earlier today it was officially announced that the company's new spokesperson for the Honor 50 series will be revealed next week on Monday which is 7 June 2021 with the company also sharing a slight teaser video as well Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 chipset is the flagship smartphone processor for the brand after that the company has launched several new mid range and premium chips for mobile phones now we have information about the upcoming flagship processor well known leakster even blaze has revealed information about the Qualcomm SM8450 chip which will be launched as a successor of the Snapdragon 888 processor powering the next generation of flagship phones Realme 9 and Realme XT3 and Realme GT2 spotted on Realme India website. This is the first time we are hearing about these phones. Realme 9 launch date in India is yet to be revealed. Realme GT2 could be the Realme camera flagship mobile. Realme to launch 5G smartphones under 10000 Indian rupees in 2022 and Madhav Seth has confirmed it. And these devices will be a part of expansion strategy that Realme has which aims to increase the number of 5G devices under its portfolio to over 20. The move will seemingly ensure that more than 70% of all devices that Realme sells in various market to be 5G equipped. The Realme Watch S was unveiled last November in black color and today it is joined by a new silver variant that is around 4999 Indian rupees that is roughly around 70 US dollars. It's priced the same as a black model and it will go on sale in India starting 7 June through Flipkart and Realme official website. Redmi Note 10 Pro price in India has been hiked. The 6GB plus 128GB version now costs rupees 17,499 instead of rupees 16,999. The new price is already reflecting on Amazon and MI websites. IQ tag listed on Chinese trademark database. On May 18, 2021, IQ tag has been spotted within a certification area with Beijing Intangible Technology Corporation Limited. Apple after a number of rumors finally released a tag which will help people to find their lost products but currently it is not compatible with Android and only allows the NFC enabled ones to find it this might change soon as an Android app for a tag could be come soon Apple is looking to bring wireless charging to the iPad Pro in 2022. According to the industry sources, the next iPad Pro is set to adopt a glass back in order to achieve wireless charging capabilities and would reportedly use a MagSafe magnetic accessory system. The MagSafe technology that is featured on certain Apple iPhone models might pose a risk to people with pacemakers. The American Heart Association has issued a warning about the possible interface from the MagSafe for people at risk. 
Clubhouse received some flack for launching on Android with a perceived incomplete feature list. After an initial update adding the ability to user to delete their accounts and some ancillary abilities, the Clubhouse hierarchy was finally announced that going forward. The Android version of the app will soon give users the ability to link their Twitter and Instagram account in the application. The newest social media platform has also chosen to do away with its invite-only process for the new user to sign up. And the latest range of features are already live now on the Clubhouse beta application. The global shortage of semiconductor has already impacted various industries like automobiles. This has now further spread and affected out downstream markets like the consumer electronic segments including personal computers, smartphones and even home appliances as well, causing a hike in price across every sector. Today, Google has unceremoniously made the Pixel Buds a series official. These are true wireless earbuds like the Pixel Buds, but they are cheaper at $99. You can pre-order a pair from the Google store right now. Google Pixel may soon get a time-lapse mode for its astrophotography feature. This update comes courtesy of an APK teardown of the Pixel Tips app reported by 9to5Google, which seemingly reveals the presence of new feature under the module titled Camera Astro Time-Lapse Setting Controller. The feature module was spotted in the latest edition of the Pixel Tips app, which suggests that it may be the upcoming feature that Google Pixel phones would get it in the future. Google will let Android mobile software users opt out of being tracked by advertisers on their smartphone application, following an earlier move by rival Apple Corporation to bluster privacy on iPhones. This option will become available in late 2021 with the Google Play service update. Earlier this week, Hawaii held a Harmony OS operating system and smart product launch event. In this conference, the company officially announced the Harmony OS along with its tagline One as all and all as one. Now the firm even donated all its core structure of Harmony OS to the Open Atom Open Source Foundation. This would enable interested manufacturer to get the Harmony OS system codes and develop product as per their requirement. At the moment, there are more than 500,000 developers that are working with Harmony OS and the company is expected more to join soon. An Indian High Court has dismissed a lawsuit filed by Indian celebrity Juhi Chawla against the rollout of 5G infrastructure in India. The lawsuit had sought to stop the telecom industry plans to make the 5G connectivity become a reality. However, the Delhi High Court which heard the case has thrown out of the lawsuit today. The court also dismissed the suit and awarded a 20 lakh fine against the plaintiff for abuse of the court process. You know how we always keep asking Samsung to put bigger batteries on the smartphone. Well, it seems someone did something about it, but it is not Samsung. A Reddit user who goes by the user t 691 posted images showing a 14,000 mAh battery attached to the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. How? He simply added a 10,000 mAh battery on top of the 4,100 mAh unit that comes out of the box on Galaxy S10 Plus. The results are not particularly pretty, but user claimed that it works fine and more than fine. And the user also claimed that the phone was running at high performance levels, its AMOLED screen are working fine and is a headphone jack, the SD card slot on the phone is doing fine too. And he also mentioned that its screen responded fine as well. Twitter on Thursday unveiled its new subscription-based service that will grant users access to exclusive features including one to undo a published tweet within 30 seconds of posting. Twitter View will include other features like bookmark folder which will enable users to save tweets in separate folders and reader mode which will turn long threads into easy to read text, the company said in a statement. In the latest episode of US-China geopolitical shutdown, President Joe Biden is enforcing a new executive order that bans investment in 59 Chinese companies including Hawaii. That will be effective from August 2nd, the new decision prevents US investment in Chinese companies with suspected ties to the Chinese Communist Party. With the stroke of a pen, the Galaxy X cover probe becomes a success for Samsung. The company has reached an agreement with retail giant Walmart to sell 740,000 units that will be used by Walmart Associate. This is Samsung's biggest mobile enterprise deal in the US ever. Walmart Global Tech, an in-house software development team, was working on an app that will help employees simplify their daily tasks and assist customers. Features include mobile clock-in and check-in schedules. Then Walmart approached Samsung for the hardware side of things and the X cover Pro was chosen for the job. The Chinese self-driving vehicle system developer Zongmo recently raised 190 million US dollars in its Series D funding round, which also had the Xiaomi backed fund investment in the company. 
Currently, we know of only one phone that uses the MediaTek's new Dimensity 900 chipset, and that is Oppo Reno 6 5G. That particular chip was spotted running Geekbench inside the Oppo CPH 2251. Is that the Oppo Reno 6 5G? Perhaps it could be a new related Reno device. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share, and subscribe, and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.